Hello friends, welcome to Electro Pixels. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Hi friends, this is a 43 inch LG LED TV. Here in this TV, the complaint is white shading picture and vertical lines appearing on the screen. See friends, this is the fault. Here you can see vertical bars and lines appearing on the screen along with white screen. These types of complaints are mainly due to internal shorting in gate signals inside the glass panel. The shorting may be either from the left side or right side of the glass panel. If both sides of the panel is short then it is not repairable. This is the model number of the TV 43 LJ 522T. We can fix this panel issue by a small modification. You can see the complaint is still there. This is just only temporary solution. We can fix this panel using a temporary solution by blocking the gate signals either from the left side or right side of the glass panel. The permanent solution is panel replacement and we cannot predict how long the display will work using this method. It completely depends on lag basis. So friends, now let us open the back door of the TV. See friends, now we open the back door of the TV. You can see this is the decon board. And this is the panel model number. This is the motherboard. Here this TV works on 19 volt DC input. So friends, here you can see this is the decon board. These are the gate signal tracks. Here you can see this is the gate signal tracks from the left side of the panel and this is the gate signal tracks from the right side of the panel to remove the internal shorting you need to one by one check whether which side is short these are the gate signal tracks from the right side and these are the gate signal tracks from the left side. You need to block these 13 pins using a taping method. These complaints are mainly because of VGH VGL shorting inside the glass panel. Here you can see this is the VGH track. So before starting repair, now let us turn on the TV and check the picture. So now we connected the 19 volt DC adapter. Now the TV is turned on, here you can see the backlight. See friends, at present condition, this is the situation. Vertical lines and white shading picture. So let us start the repair. First we need to check the voltages like VGH, VGL and AVDD. See friends, now we Grounded the one end of meter probe. So now let us check the VGH voltage first. You can see the VGH voltage 27 volt is present. Now let us check the AVDD voltage. 
See friends, system volt, ABDT voltage is also present. Now, let us check the VGL voltage. See friends, the VGL voltage is negative voltage and here you can see the VGH voltage is missing. So this is the reason for vertical bars and wire shading pictures appearing on the screen. So the VGL voltage is shorting inside the glass panel. The shorting may be either from the left side or right side of the glass panel. So now let us turn off the TV and check the shorting is removed or not by disconnecting the FFC cable one by one. So friends first here I am going to disconnect the left side FFC cable first. The friends now I disconnected the left side FFC cable from the T-con board. Now let us power on the TV and measure the voltages again. friends now let us measure the VGL voltage again see friends after disconnecting the left side FFC cable while measuring the VGL voltage you can see the VGL voltage is still missing so this means that the VGL voltage is shorting is not in left side of the panel so here the internal shorting is with the right side of the panel so in this situation, let us reconnect the FFC cable in the left side and disconnect the FFC cable from the right side of the decon board. See friends, now we connected the FFC cable to the left side of the decon board. Now, going to disconnect the FFC cable from the right side of the panel. See friends, now the right side FFC cable is disconnected from the decon board. Now let us power on the TV and check the VGL voltage. See friends, here you can see now the VGL voltage is present. See friends, now the VGL voltage comes. So this means that the shorting is with the right side of the panel. See friends, here you can see the VGL voltage reading on the multimeter. So, here the problem is with the right side of the panel. So, to solve this issue, we need to block the gate signal tracks entering to the panel through this T-con board. For that, we can use the taping method. You need to block the first 13 pins from the FFC cable. See friends, these are the gate signal tracks. Here the left side of the panel is ok. The problem is with the right side gate signal tracks. So here I take a piece of tape for blocking the gate signals. Friends, using this taping method, we can block the gate signal tracks entering to the panel, which causes the VGL shorting inside the glass panel. By blocking the gate signals from the right side of the glass panel, now we removed the VGL voltage shorting inside the glass panel. So, friends, now let us connect the FFC cable 
back to the decon board after blocking the gate signal tracks using taping method. See friends, now we connected all sockets. Now again power on the TV and check the voltages. See friends, now the TV is turned on. Here you can see the VGL voltage is present. This means that now the shorting is removed. So now let us check the picture. See friends, here you can see the result. Now the picture comes. Here you can see now there is no panel complaints. See friends, now the picture is crystal clear. Now let us turn off and turn on the TV again and check the picture. See friends, now the TV is turned on. You can see now there is no vertical bars or white shading picture. You can see now the complaint is solved. See friends, now there is no panel related complaints. Now the picture is crystal clear and the TV is repaired successfully. So finally now we can put the back cover and all screws back to the TV. Here you can see the blocked gate signal tracks using typing method. See friends, these are the gate signal tracks you can see in detail. Here you need to block the first 13 pins. See friends, finally now we put the back or back to TV and you can see the final result. Now the TV is working properly. So that's it. Hope you like this video. See you in another video with another interesting topics. If you like our channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for getting further notifications. Thank you for watching.